Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> it's your girl P. And today I want to go over Talk to Me. I'm trying to make as many Talk to Me videos as I can to get it out there. But I want to share with you guys. They put like 17 tips on um, the page to help you increase your calls. So I'm just here to kind of break it down in a little bit more detail and tell y'all my personal experience and opinions on each of their tips that they gave and to tell you if I incorporate them or not in my, on my talk to me, um, in my talk to me business. But first, I'd like you guys to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are a PSO, cam girl, spicy creator of any sort, this is definitely the channel for you. If you just love you some Paisley or you're a little spiritual, I attract a lot of tarot readers, healers, empaths. I attract a lot of spiritual people and I just love y'all. <laughs> Lately, also, I've been attracting a lot of trans and a lot of women over 40, and I love that for myself. So, anyways, back to this talk to me. Let's read the first one. Explore all avenues of communication. You do not need to take a phone call to stay in touch with your callers. You can send messages, sext, or engage in the web chat. The more avenues you open up where callers can reach you, the more money you can make. So I don't, I haven't read through all the rules yet, but let's start, let's start here. You can send messages to guys that favored you, guys that you have talked on the phone with, and I'm just actually looking at my favorite feature. So one thing I haven't utilized is to like me be the first one to reach out to them more. So I am going to do my best moving forward to make sure that I do because I think that's smart. I think if someone favorites you, just like they favorite you on Night Flight, you should say, hey, how are you doing? Hopefully we get to talk soon. You know, here's my schedule. If you want to do a tip menu, I'm not doing a tip menu on this platform um, for reasons I might say in another video. But I am most def definitely going to take advantage of like the calls and the features that they have on here. Okay, um, when you are sending messages as a best practice, they'll send you a message and you gain like, you gain 25 cents, but you only get like nine cents out of the 25 cents, right? So essentially, they could sit here and send you a whole paragraph, a whole freaking script, a whole long story, right? And... It's 25 cents and you only get nine cents and you have to sit there and read all of that. Well, how I compensate my money is when I respond, I always respond with a message where they have to pay five dollars to open it. You can go from zero to five dollars unless you're sending like a video or picture. I think you could do up to ten. Don't quote me. I forgot the number. But nonetheless, when you're just sending text messages, you can price it for free. You can price it at $0.25 cents all the way up to $5. I price them at $5 every single time. You know why? Because out of that $5, you get $1.75. And that's the least that they can send or that I can get for doing this. At the end of the day, I'm here to make money. So I'm not responding to you back and sending 25 cents no like it's five dollars every time granted i'm always sending something enticing that's going to make them want to keep opening and if they're like why am i going to pay five dollars to keep opening this i give them a reason why but nonetheless it's five dollars for me do what you want for your spicy business but that's been a best practice to me and a great way to increase my sales and it's 333 all right, so let's read the next one. Update your profile text regularly. Your title, headlines, and description tell callers who you are, what makes you tick, and what they can expect when you're calling. Callers browse the site and check a profile each day to see if there are any updates. So one thing that I do like that they said it here, but I'm going to go in some more detail. When you make your title, you cannot change it. You have to email them to be able to change it. So please don't mess up in spelling. Use enough adjectives. Make it descriptive. Stop putting y'all's names. 
Like, you want to put, like, mine is closeted cuck and cocksucker confessional. Like, you want to... I'm sorry, my elbow was itching. But you want to make... You want to make your profile stand out by using a title that has lots of adjectives. Now, you can go in and change the description if it is working for you. Like, for instance, I have one dress up in Paisley's Playhouse for all the sissies, and they eat it up. <laughs> There's no way I'm changing that title, description, greeting, or picture because they're eating all of it. Um... And so that's kind of how I gauge it. If you're not getting calls on it, I would change it probably minimally once a month, probably like twice a month. Okay, so maybe it'll get into this later on in some more tips. But one thing that I've noticed as well as this is to post on your wall. So they go to your profile every day to look and check and see if there's any updates. But also, your wall is right there on your profile. Every time that I'm on a shift, I write something on the wall. Um, Like my ignore one, for instance. I've been getting on there. Oh my gosh, my last ignore call was 47 minutes. Who is going to break the record at an hour today? Whose pathetic ass can I do that? Where are the losers at? You know, whatever your um, profile is about... Write things pertaining to that. You go and post on Twitter. You're scrolling on TikTok all day. Why wouldn't you invest the time into your spicy business to build and engage with actual paying customers? So that was a best practice for me as well. Um, sex, engage in web chat. Web chat's really fun. Um, and yeah. So that's all I have to say. I am doing one-on-one -on -one consultations and also enrolling in my next group of um, courses that I'll be starting coming up. So um, stay tuned for that. But consultations one-on-one -on -one right now, it is September 2023, just to give y'all a um gauge so if my prices go up in another video y'all know but right now it's 150 for one-on-one -on -one consultation i do require a consultation before you enroll in my courses the reason why is this go around when i did my courses it was kind of like a trial and error for me i wanted to make them 16 weeks long so i could stretch some money out longer so the people that um needed to pay weekly it wouldn't be like so huge and outrageous I also made my prices a lot cheaper than what i am um going to do moving forward and i was like if you bought two or more i was giving discounts i really wanted to entice people to get into my but when something's new you definitely learn from it so i did learn that we definitely need consultations first because what I don't want to do is get into a course and repeat something that I've already said on YouTube. A consultation, you definitely get things I've said outside of YouTube, but it is a recap to make sure that you have implemented all of the things that I've said on my channel. <coughs> Some people don't watch all the videos, so that's why I would recommend a consultation. And then we can move forward and get you enrolled into the courses. My goal is to um, make sure that the people in my courses are in this adult industry for the long haul. Um, it is made beginner friendly, but there are some like prerequisites that you must do like a consultation before you join the courses. So check those out. Also, if you don't want none of that and you just don't know how to take phone calls, I do shadow calls. Reach out to me on Telegram or Instagram. All right, toodles.